Hello, this is Eduardo, and today I am here with a new tutorial for API Builder, or Thunkable, or uh, Makeroid, or App Inventor. So you can follow this tutorial, okay? If you are just working with App Inventor, you can follow this tutorial, okay, with any problem. Well, in the previous tutorial, I was making a calculator with just the addition, okay? You were having like 34 plus 4, 38 plus 8, okay? So when you make uh, addition, it was not necessary to click again plus if you click uh, equals. Now I added a subtract button. Okay, for example, in this case, 4 minus 2, okay, plus 7 minus 1. And then if I don't click and in my last button it was a minus, I, it continues like subtracting. I guess it's pretty convenient. Okay, well, that's the idea for this tutorial, so let's start. And well, I will share with you the same uh, working file for you to work or to follow this tutorial, okay? That it's just with the addition thing. So uh, let's go to the projects and let's go to, I created yes, this file. Let me check that it's not advanced. So you have here this, okay, so far. And then let's rename this for you. Say project as you have subtraction, and now we are going to name it to student. And this file is for you. So you have the file. This is the starting file for you guys. Okay, so um, let's just uh, export this project. So I will upload it and share it with you. Export selected thing. And let's go for teacher. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to make an extra copy because I'm going to make this also in Spanish, I guess. Teacher Spanish. I'm going to make a simplified version for this if you like Spanish. many files right don't worry so let's go to projects let's go to subtraction student teacher this is my file that's it so the first thing is go to the designer in the designer go to the right side the left side and let's drag a button here in the last uh, horizontal arrangement don't worry right now about the design of the calculator. It's pretty simple, but I promise, okay, we will change this design to make something really, really cool. So let's change the text for this uh, button to minus. You can use here bold, also with plus, to make them more uh, visible. Well, you have minus, and then let's change the name, rename it to subs subtraction button you know one of the first things that i did when i started with app inventor it was a calculator i was following a tutorial from scott ferguson I, if i remember very well it was a pretty nice tutorial now uh, and i learned a lot now i'm trying to make myself my calculator <clears throat> and i guess it's going pretty well well, now let's start with this. So let me make this thing a little bit smaller. Okay, let me reduce this. It's not necessary to have a big. Yes, okay. Well, so the first thing that we need is to create procedures, right? We have the clean, the equals, the add procedure, and the add digit. Well, before we create this, wonderful procedures we're going to go here and we're going to add a new variable the variable it's going to help us because the calculator needs to know if we are making an addition or a subtraction okay so we need to be very clear we need to tell them hey you know we're going to make a subtraction so subtract this number minus the previous one or we are going to add another number so the add Okay, make an addition. So that's why we are going to call this 
operation or operator or whatever but let's call it operation and let's set the default to plus okay so now here in this we have the procedure for the add okay let's just drag it over up and we're going to use variable every time we press the add button we're going to change the operation to plus okay so this is going to help us okay so this is the first modification we created a variable to tell the calculator that we're going to make the kind of operation that we're going to make okay so we're going to in this case the default is plus so for the add when we click this button it will change to plus now uh, we need to work with um, our procedures okay so if we check right now everything needs to nothing happens okay so 39 it's just like normal so everything is okay now to create the procedure for the subtraction i'm going to make things easier okay i was checking my blocks and i guess i can improve them very simple now drag a procedure call it subtraction procedure and then check go to the equals procedure and we are going to duplicate these blocks duplicate the blocks and write them over there okay so that's just pretty 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 simple now the next thing we just drag it the equals procedure okay so if we just like drag this thing inside okay the subtraction procedure that we just create we're going to use this okay as a model now we're going to modify some things we're going to remove this block and we're going to use here a logic again no let's use math sorry and we are going to use it in here and we are going to use here different okay now using the temporary result remember the temporary result it's basically uh this one okay the temporary result text is the one that it's here okay the lower uh, label if this result it's different from zero that means that it has something over there a number and also if the final result it's equals to zero for example in this case it's different from zero and this is zero well i want you to do this operation obviously we don't want to do a, so, uh, an addition we want to make a subtraction so we're going to drag this and we're going to substitute this and we're going to change here the order we're going to drag the temporary okay i mean this value minus the temporary result okay so that it means that it will check that thing okay so from this and that's i guess that's the only modification that we can have yes so let's try to see what's going to happen but to do that we need to insert this into the button okay so let's go here let's look for add button we can duplicate this guy then we just change to subtraction then this is not when we set this the global operation it will use this the operator is minus sound it's okay and procedure it will be subtraction procedure now let's try it 34 minus 2 minus check we have a mistake over there we are going to fix it don't worry 
Now equals is not detecting if we are making a subtraction, so we need to make another modification. Okay, so here just let's review the code that everything is okay. So the temporary result. Okay. This is zero. I guess that's okay. So let's go to equals equals it is something that it's going to help us so let's remove this guy here the clean thing let's remove this and let's modify more things so in the equals we need to add a condition here an extra condition we need to detect what i told you if it's a subtraction or an addition to do that we're going to use if and else if here drag and slot else if now we are going to compare text which text well remember that we need to detect if equals if the text okay so in this case the variable we are going to detect the text in the variable operation if equals to the plus symbol well we are going to perform this one that it was uh, it is supposed to be the addition else if now we need to detect if it's a subtraction and basically we are going to do the same we are going to drag a um, we're going to use check. We're going to duplicate this one. Duplicate. And then we're going to make some changes. Obviously, it's a subtraction. We're going to insert in here the temporary result minus the text that is in here. Okay. Okay, so final result, temporary result, minus the text, and I guess that's the thing. So let's try to see what's what we have right now. For example, 34 minus 7, 27 minus and if we press minus lots of times nothing happens okay so 43 minus 3 and check now it's happening this thing so we're going to fix minus 45 okay so we need to fix this 2 okay we're going to fix that thing so we need to see for example here 3 minus 3 0 minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 1 now if you check the subtraction it's pretty simple if compared to the add procedure so we're going to remove this one that we did okay and we're going to change this one add procedure with the other one i was trying this thing and it works better so let's go here now we just need to modify so we're going to use here in the addition procedure we are going to check also the same things then we're going to add and that's it so that's the idea with this and then let's check if it's uh, working plus 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 eight plus four eight twenty now the only thing that we need to fix probably is this one seven equals 
minus 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 8 17 <coughs> 2 15 minus 4 minus and that's it i guess that's okay minus 4 minus 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 2 so it's okay no mistake minus 3 minus 4 minus or plus 40 23 i guess that's okay right now it's working okay so we just have here these values <clears throat> the subtraction and the clean so let's review just the app that everything is okay so you have 34 minus 8 2 equals minus 4 20 plus 23 okay and that's it it is working okay so <clears throat> just to review the final modifications we have the temporary result that is uh, the text is this one okay from this label if this label is equal uh, it's different from zero and the final result it's equal to zero not in this case okay we're going to do or uh, perform this operation okay so uh and which is the operation so for example we have 48 minus okay it's going to do the operation here and then if i write three okay so then this final result it is like empty in this moment so it's subtracting this okay so rem remember that we just write uh, empty sometimes the, the results so and this is a pretty pretty simple way to make the calculator well to add the uh, subtraction stuff okay and just to finish as i did in my app okay let's change just the color of the button let's use another one let's use here a yellow one and let's use in the other one a pink one just to change okay and the text obviously change it to black and to black And that's it. I guess that's uh, all for this tutorial. I hope you like this, uh, the tutorial. Please subscribe to this channel. Okay. And don't forget to share this video with someone who's learning <clears throat> App Inventor or RP Builder. Okay. Uh, and believe me, this is one of the best projects that you can start to work with. Okay. So it's a good idea to follow the tutorial in this moment, for example, if you are just like starting, but then try to make it yourself, okay? Because there are many ways to follow uh, or to make your calculator. And also as a homework for you or as a challenge, try to make the next operator that it will be like the multiplication, okay? So how to multiply things. So try to use the, the code that you have, okay? So try to recycle this and try to figure things out, okay? So um, I hope you like the tutorial. I will see you next time. My name is Eduardo. Bye bye.